I'm waiting for them to pop up and see if they're sharks or not. All right, here we go. This is awesome. Oh yeah, man. I got a weapon. I, I made it all the way to earning a weapon. You guys actually brought something. <laughs> Get out of the water, there's so much blood. I really want to do this so bad that I'm literally smearing my face with Vaseline. Oh, heads off. Ooh. Like butter. The heat. Mmm, yeah, so good. I'm Zachary Fowler and that's Greg Ovens. And the other day we decided to fly down to Hawaii, meet up for the first time in a long time. There he is. Long time no see, buddy. So stay tuned for five awesome Hawaiian adventure catching cooks with my buddy Greg. You're not gonna wanna miss. Whoa! Look at the teeth on that guy. Bring the bow, Greg! <laughs> Get out of the water, bro. <laughs> What is up everybody? We are here with Ryan Myers. Check him out, link in the description below. He's taking us out on another adventure. What are we doing today? Today we're looking for tuna and we're throwing you in the ocean at night. So let's- So uh, uh, the first time I get wet has to be in the dark? In the dark and I'll give you a spear so you can shoot something at night. All right, so this just goes to show you how nervy or how chicken I'll be later <laughs> when we find out if I have what it takes to dive down in the dark. How deep is it? How deep do you want to go? I want to be able to touch the bottom. It's the same thing, but it's dark. No, I it's don't the same wanna... thing. It's, just... it's not even that dark. I'll give you a flashlight. You'll... Okay, we'll have a flashlight. So good. <laughs> I want lobster. I want to try this warm climate lobsters in a versus main lobster. The warm water lobster, the Pacific Spiny, it's a powerful lobster. It's not like your main lobster. You grab this thing and it's gonna want to get away from you. Like they're powerful. Do we got gloves? We got or gloves they... for you. I got oh, everything got for you. But you grab this thing and you hold on because it, it does not want to be eaten. Uh, they appear to be uh, like giant shrimps because they don't have claws. They don't have claws. So that's good. They might not want to be eaten, but they also are not gonna pinch you. That's right. So let's do it. Looks good out there today. Yeah, it's way different day. If you haven't already seen it. Check out the link below for the playlist for the Hawaii Adventures with Greg and yours truly and Ryan's channel. But don't go there. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go subscribing. He doesn't like people. Are you sick of endless hours of flipping channels and learning nothing new? Well, stop it. Stop it or I'll bury you alive in a box. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of wonderful, inspiring classes that can give you the chance to level up on life. Maybe you've always wanted to play guitar. They got lessons on that. Maybe you want to level up at your job and be the best that you can be so that you can get that raise. Or maybe you just want to learn how to do YouTube like me. There's a class on that as well. Maybe you've been inspired by my videos and all the cooking we do, and we don't really educate you on that. We just do these fancy shots and have a lot of fun. So where do you start? Well, Skillshare has some great cooking classes, and I've never been classically trained myself, and I've wanted to learn more about other cultures and their food dishes to inspire me to make a better dish and a better video for you guys. So I've been watching one on Japanese cooking right now. And if you're inspired by today's video and doing sushi, well, you can learn how to be a sushi chef for yourself right here on Skillshare. And I've always been interested in permaculture, and I found a class here on that as well, so I can make a catch and cook garden for my videos and bring you guys something new I've never done before. With new classes coming out every week, there's no reason you have to stop growing and learning. So check out linked in the description below or use the code Fowler's Makery and Mischief. For the first 1,000 people that click that link and sign up, you get one month free. You stop it! Let's get on with the video. So this is what worked yesterday. We can try that again. So simple. It's it. Just like fast fishing, but bigger. Hopefully. He's dragging too, that's a good sign. So, what are we hoping for? Like, uh, we're not looking for a 50 pound, 80 
We're looking for a five pound tuna. A five pound tuna. We get lucky, we get a 10 or 20 pound tuna. Yeah. 50 pound tuna laughs at us, takes our stuff and leaves. So we hooked up to one for a second the other day and it broke off. <laughs> up top. Yeah. Uh, that was a real tuna. It must have been what? 30 pounds if it wasn't uh, 100? <laughs> 30 to 40 pounds. It, but but it, it was a good fish. It was just huge. These guys are out there right now. They're just going straight down, aren't they? There's a chump all around this thing. Yeah. Uh, so we're we'll, gonna get one. Then. No, we're gonna jump in. So we'll see I'd them all. I'd much rather catch them from the boat. But I mean, if we gotta jump in, you, you, we gotta jump in. You would rather shoot one, you just don't want to get in the water. I do want to get in the water. <laughs> I, I just don't want to get in the water. It's a hard, you know. I know exactly what like, I know exactly. I, I don't want, want to do get in the water either, but I, I we're getting in the water. There's nothing I want to do more than get in the water, but I it just it's that first getting in that's Oh I understand. Okay. Is that neutral? Uh, not really. Greg, why don't you start driving? Well, yeah. Greg, yeah. our lives are in your hands. If you just like Well, keep... if you're going diving, we should be in neutral, right? You're gonna have to drive around and find us. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, just don't run us over. Which one uh, no, I gotta be careful of that. They all know us. You're not gonna be going too too far probably. We're gonna, we're gonna go gonna swim around the buoy. We're gonna and, go everywhere. And if I survive, we we might swim around twice. <laughs> all right, I'm suiting up. I'm going for this. I'm gonna do in the water. In how how many feet is it? At? Right there. You're in like three thousand feet of water. I'm bro. in three thousand feet of water. So, so it's I'm, over your head. I it's a, it's a, <laughs> a little over my head. Maybe not my inflated ego, but it's over my head. So tuna, people can eat as sushi because yes. they <laughs> they don't get worms. <laughs> So like, we don't cook any tuna ever. Really? Ever. And we eat a lot of tuna. You, you totally destroy it. You ruin the whole thing. By cooking it? Yeah. I've had a lot of cooked tuna. It's disgusting. It's delicious. No, it's not edible, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right, ready to go. So as like spear fishermen, like or as anybody that swims in the water that knows what they're doing, there's no white skin exposed. There's no flashy orange. There's no <laughs> yellow reds. You look like a giant lure, bro. I, I'm a giant spinner bait or a, a giant plug. Literally, a, a dressed up like a giant plug from the store there. It should be fine. It should I'll, be fine. I'll keep, I'll keep Ryan between me and the sharks. Do I get them on the right foot? Yeah. Doesn't matter? No. They're universal? Yeah. See ya. I'm waiting for them to pop up and see if they're sharks or not before I get in. Quite the flippers. Yeah, they are, aren't they? All right. Okay. Well, I'm keen to see this. Uh, this is my first time in the water in Hawaii. You look do I have great. anything? Do I have anything in my teeth? No. no? no. Am I good? Am You're I good? good? I don't want to like. I want to look good for my my uh, last meal here. <laughs> you look like a snack. Oh. All right, here we go.
and maybe we'll get lucky. That was beautiful. Yeah? That was so nice. I, could I don't know what you're talking about, cold. I could stay in all day. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> I'm from Vermont. We, well, that's how he does it. We were born in the cold. <laughs> this is warm. This is like bath water. I don't even run my bath water as warm as this is right now. It is winter. In summer, the warmest the water gets in Maine is like 58 degrees or something like that. Oh, I got a weapon. I, I made it all the way to earning a weapon. Now I just got to figure out how to use it. All right, here we go. This is awesome. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah. This is where things get interesting. After that first drift past the buoy, we motored up and reset to float past the buoy one more time and see if we can actually catch something this time. What's that giant thing? Below me. Right below me. I don't know. Like a jellyfish? Yeah. yeah. It was magic hour, and with bait popping on the surface nearby, we were fairly certain the tuna were chasing him. Ryan dropped a teaser down in hopes that it would bring him close enough for a shot. Once we get up onto the buoy again, Ryan pointed out one of the fishes to me and said that it would be decent enough to eat, but they consider all of these to be bait fish and pure garbage compared to all the other beautiful fish that you could eat here in Hawaii. But me, being part raccoon, and not all that picky, was more than willing to try to spear one so I'd have something to eat just in case we didn't get a tuna. It takes a bit of getting used to swimming and aiming and holding your breath all at once, and I managed to get the spear tangled in the net several times, but Ryan untangled it and reloaded it for me. I kept missing over the tops of their backs, but the fishes didn't seem to mind much and seemed more than willing to give me the time to swim around and work on my aim, not knowing their fate should I get sighted in. I tried another shot or two, but they got a little bit wise to me and started dodging. It's hard to see here because it's dark, but as the tuna comes in, I shot at it. But unfortunately, this spear gun only has like a six foot line on it, and I was shy by two inches. Later, Ryan tells me that's a good thing because without a reel on it, I wouldn't have been able to fight the fish and it would have ripped my arm out of the socket or just the gun out of my hands. Ryan, on the other hand, swam down and hid underneath the net attached to the buoy until they came in and he didn't miss his shot. Bring the ball, Greg! Ryan fought the fish for about 10 minutes, and then some of his friends, which were close by on another boat, gave him another spear so he could put another one into it. That finished the fish off, but it also put a lot of blood in the water, and sharks love blood. I've actually caught something. Oh man. Y'all get out. 
<laughs> Get out of the water, bro. Get out. There's so much blood. Huh? Get out of the water. That was ridiculous. Holy crap! Not tuna. <laughs> uh, Unreal, eh? Holy cow. I saw that. You said, you're like, hold still, and I'm trying to hold still that my snorkel, I'm drowning. I know. That snorkel's like letting... <laughs> water my, in. My le yeah, it was like letting water in. I couldn't forget it to fix. It's like... So I'm like half drowning, trying to hold still, and the bait's coming up more and more, and I'm like, this is gonna happen. And then sure enough, one goes up, and I shot at it, and it was like dead on, but it was like, it yeah. was two inches short, and so I was like, ah, I didn't think I was gonna get it anyway. Yeah. But I had to try. <laughs> For sure. And then I see you go down and like freeze. Yeah. And then he's like pop and it's like boom action. Nothing. But... That was ridiculous. That never happens. That's, that was that's insane. Probably like, that's that's probably never... like, I don't know, second biggest one I ever shot in Hawaii. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's Look. huge. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is one big fish. Yeah. Ryan nailed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so amazing. That is amazing. ridiculous. Uh, all right, now I really got the oh, bug. Like I want to, I was, get it. <laughs> I'm like half drowning. My mask, my mask is fine, but my snorkel is like letting water. It's some cheesy kids thing. I think I had. I don't know. And, and uh, I'm like trying to film him. So I hope I've gotten a lot enough of it, so you guys get to see how cool that was. <sighs> that was amazing. That I don't know. He's got to be 30, 35. I think at least maybe 40. Okay. Let's go. Look at this thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's a real fish. Dude. Right on, guys. Yo, we'll have to do a party. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I stoked you into that, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. Now I really want to get a place here. Like, that was just <laughs> too cool. Uh, it never happens, though. That is so uh, rare. He's you like, don't understand. Yeah. Don't, you're, not, you're not selling it. You're I, like, I've that shot. never happens. That never okay. <laughs> I've shot. This is the third one. In all of my time in Hawaii, yeah, that's the third uh, one that, that looked like that. Yeah, the third one that size. All that's the other ones. We are... had Greg the Fish Whisperer that's here. He was well, sitting, doing it. He was doing his thing, and, <laughs> and they come in. <laughs> Doesn't matter where he goes, they just they come. Ooh, the size of all those organs. Heart. Mm. That. It's for you. Still beating. Fit? Huh, just barely. Nice job, man. Ridiculous. Since the beard it causes the problem of the seal. We're gonna use Vaseline. Is it gonna work? No. It's gonna it's work. Gonna work. It might work. This is what I heard about. We're not drifting too fast. No, nothing's gonna happen quick. Just yeah. Putting a bunch of Vaseline on. This seems a little hinky. You guys are gonna be in there short. Okay. I really want to do this so bad that I'm literally smearing my face with Vaseline, but we'll see. All right, so we, I, I, I turned the camera off for a second and everything bad goes. I mean, I just I, kept the camera going. We're all suited up, we're gonna go. I got Vaseline all over my face <laughs> and the motor died. So we don't really wanna go over the edge. It's, it, was, it wasn't restarting too, it kept saying temp. And it didn't change when I, when I flipped the, I thought the battery switch might yeah. reset it, but it didn't do that and then it. it yeah. I don't know, man. I, I think we should, well, we're, we're, we're pretty far from home. Let's go back closer to home. Let's go closer to home, try this guy. So. Ah, we, were, we came all the way here. We did, we ran this. See, this is why I need to buy a little place in Hawaii so I can come back and do this more often. No. Yeah. All right, stowing stuff's for moving again. Well, we weren't successful on the lobster where we had to. Nobody towed us in. No, nobody towed us in, but. And we're not still out there. I still got my goat fish salad sandwich or whatever, I guess. That turned out really good. That turned out really good. Yeah. That is potentially the first Moana Kali fish sandwich ever made. 
Mm. That was good I brought that. Hit the spot. Well, I'm gonna drive, we're gonna drive back to our place and uh, we'll see you for some uh, sushi. Sushi party. Sushi party. All right, let's go, Greg. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. There we are, we got our fish. We're at Ryan's house. And he's going to show us how to attempt to do this properly. Yeah. So, cut from there. Oh, it worked. Look at that. Nice. Heads off. Boom. Come from back here. Boom. That should go right on the grill there. That's oh, in yeah. theory. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is all like that <clears throat> that super awesome collar and throat meat in there. Oh mm, nice. Do the same on the other side. Go. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of fish. There's a lot of great A sushi right there. Mm. Seriously, sweet grilling steaks right there. Grilling steaks? I don't I'm know just trying to antagonize him. <laughs> where do you think we are? And he's like, no, no, we're not doing that. We're not cooking anything. <laughs> So my cats will only eat grade A sashimi. Oh, they really? will not eat the bloodline, the bones, anything else. No kidding. Come here. Come here. Man, this fish is melting your mouth. So yeah. Like melting. butter. What do you think? The hot stuff is too Excellent. hot for me. <laughs> oh, it's still, yeah, there's a little bit of wasabi in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The heat, don't breathe out of your nose. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. if you blow out of your nose, the wasabi just smokes you. <laughs> it do. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That is so, so good. It doesn't last long, does it? No. <laughs> no. Hey, you guys want a piece before it's gone? You guys go. Or it's all going to be hot. What's going to be hot? I'm scared. Depending on how much you mm. want. Good. Ooh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Check it out. <laughs> that was your kill. That was it. That's awesome. That's my that's, first bite of that. Yeah, that's awesome, huh? Yeah, that was fantastic. Oh. Aged, what, two days yeah. on the brine. Unbelievable. Shit. Can't beat that. Oh, yeah, mm. that fish was great. So now you're making us. This is poke. poke. So this is the, without a doubt, my favorite dish. We have this all the time. I buy tuna from the store specifically to make this. This is it. This is the dish. If you're not quick on the camera, it right. happens. So we've got salt, avocado. Uh, thin sliced onion, yeah, yeah. We and the tuna, which you call ahi, not to be confused with hagi. Hagi! I tried to yeah, cut into the hagi, and it was a stone. Like the thing is a stone on the outside. And uh, the, our hosts were like, "Hey, any fish got to anything you have? We'd love to use it for our compost pile." So now it is helping out the trees. There you go. All right, Greg. Yeah. Let's Round two. Round two. Round two. No hot sauce. Um, okay. No, I'm not. I, I like the fish itself. It's not the hot sauce. Uh, I was just teasing you. I said, okay, as if like there's hot sauce in there, but it, <laughs> there isn't, right? It's no. good. Mm. Trying my first bite of poke. Trying to get a little bit of everything. Mmm. Mmm. I want a piece with the avocado. That is so good. So that's our favorite. That's, yeah, that, like, that's really good. That's my favorite too. Yeah, that's like me and Sam's like Tuesday night activity. Like, mm. This looks good. I think I'm going over here. I saw all the loaded. I want the fully loaded one. You're right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Man. I gotta, get, in. I gotta get some sticks here. Get it. All right. Seven. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> if they make it to our mouths, we're doing good. Give it a try. Try it. This was such an awesome time. Special thanks to Ryan Myers for taking us out on this great little piece of the Hawaiian adventure. Check out Ryan Myers, linked in the description below. This is the end of his time with us here in Hawaii, but hopefully it's not the end of our adventures together. I can't wait to meet up with him again and have another adventure. How much was Not amazing. Mm -hmm. I guess I need to turn Send this right to Chipotle. Oh, this is just a, yeah. This is just a Chipotle special. I never did. Well, it's loud here. We're having a lot of fun, eating a lot of sushi. There's still a ton of this. They're going to be eating this for a long time. They might even have to cook some before it goes bad. No. And he says no. But uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out.